Okay, before we move on to the teaching materials, uh, let me briefly introduce the general information of this uh, course. Okay, some basic information. My name is Yang Shangda, and uh, my office is located uh, at A10 of this building. And uh, this is my email address. And the most important of all, this is the hyperlink that you can access everything, including the teaching material, the homework assignments, the homework solutions, and any news. So please, at least uh, you have to know this hyperlink. Okay. Class hours, okay, Tuesday, uh, T5, T6, and uh, uh, Thursday, R5, uh, so three hours per week, uh, very typical. We will have a textbook. The author is uh, Andrew Weiner. Uh, the title of the book is the same as the title of this course, Art of S Optics. And uh, this is the cover page, okay? And uh, this is the portrait of the author. Uh, I have to make a comment. Uh, the author is my thesis advisor when I was in the United States. And uh, to my knowledge, he spent 10 years in writing this uh, single book. So he spent a lot of efforts uh, in authoring. So I'm sure the quality of this textbook is very high. Uh, but the, uh, the content of this textbook is uh, I think it's well beyond uh, one semester capacity. So I will just uh, focus on some of the subjects uh, in this textbook. Uh, you are not required to purchase this textbook. Uh, you can download the PDF files from the hyperlink I just showed you in the previous page. Uh, you can download the lecture slides. Uh, but if you are really interested in the detailed information about ultrafast optics, uh, this one should be uh, the best one I, I can identify. Okay. Okay. Any question? No. Good. So, what can you learn from this subject? Okay. Uh, I, I will show you in three slides. Uh, first, by the end of this semester, you can probably know uh, the uh, working principle and the design details about tisulfide lasers, which is the most uh, popular uh, ultrafast lasers to this date. But maybe there are new, newer technologies. Okay? But as you can see, this is a very simple design. Only maybe uh, one, two, two curved mirrors, two flat mirrors, one tisulfide crystal, maybe a prism pair, and a simple iris. Okay? And you can get uh, maybe 20 or 30 femtosecond, uh, one to two watts uh, tisulfide oscillator. Okay? But do you know how expensive this laser if you try to buy one? Okay. Anyone know? Knows? One million. Yeah, you are right. It's in that order, but usually it's more expensive than one million. Maybe three million <laughs> uh, NT dollars. Just several mirrors. Uh, uh, just one crystal. But why they can uh, sell this laser in such a high price? Because there are many know-hows, <laughs> many knowledge. Uh, it's not about the, uh, the cost of the materials. It's about the cost of the knowledge. Okay? So knowledge is not just only power, but also money. Okay? Okay? And by the end of this semester, you can also learn how to characterize the ultrafast laser pulses. Uh, because the pulse duration, as you will know, is very, very short. Uh, much 
faster than the response time of any electronic devices. So it's not so easy to measure the pulse width or even the pulse shape of this laser pulse. Okay, but the uh, teaching materials will cover uh, this part. For example, you can build something like a micro interferometer. You can cross two pulses and using nonlinear optical uh, process, you can record the nonlinear signal. And the road, after you got the raw data, you need some software or algorithm to uh, predict what is the corresponding laser field. Okay, so you can see it's a good example. Hardware, as long as software, uh, both are important, then you can get the answer. Okay. Also, uh, you will know how to compress the laser pulse. For example, from the laser output, maybe you got a very broad uh, pulse. And with this simple design, just two gratings properly aligned, then at the output, maybe you can get a much shorter pulse. So this is a standard uh, grating pair pulse compressor. Usually it's very important. Okay. So then you will know the generation, the measurement, and the compression of the laser pulses from this subject. If you can stay in this classroom throughout this semester, you can know most of them. Okay. Okay, some special comments about the studying of this subject. Prerequisites, uh, we need electromagnetism, especially the electrodynamics, okay? We need mathematical tools like differential equations, either ordinary or partial differential equations. And uh, we frequently rely on Fourier transforms, okay? But I'm sure all of you have studied these uh, subjects before. If you forget, uh, please review them. <laughs> okay. I will still show you some uh, relevant materials in uh, lesson one, the introduction and the review. Okay. Uh, secondly, the capability of using mathematical software such as MATLAB is necessary in homework assignments because there are a lot of occasions that you cannot get the answers by just writing down <laughs> the, the equations and the formulas. You need numerical calculations. So mathematical tool is necessary. This is the most popular one, but it's not uh, mandatory. If you are familiar with other mathematical software, you can use them as well. Okay. And the TA will give you uh, some introduction if you are totally unaware of MATLAB, uh, he can help you a lot. Third, you are not supposed to solve the homework questions perfectly, but practicing them independently. Okay? Uh, usually the homework questions uh, could be tough. Okay? So I do not expect you can solve uh, them perfectly. But independence is quite important. Uh, it will only help you if you solve them independently. Okay, that's my personal experience. Uh, try to couple the deduced formulas with physical intuitions. Okay, I know all of you are very excellent in formulas. Uh, you are very good in calculation. You can deduce the formulas. But if you just stop here, you can easily forget all the formulas maybe just weeks after the end of the semester, okay? Leaving nothing in your mind, okay? But if you can combine the formulas with physical intuitions, then uh, they can stay in your mind for much longer and it's more possible you can uh, do some applications by the knowledge you studied. So physical intuitions is very important. Finally, build up your own computer simulation capacity to examine classical 
uh, formulas. A figure could impress you more and longer than dozens of equations. You need figures. I can prepare some figures for you, but maybe you need your computer simulation capacity to get your own figures. What are the figures? The figures are about the formulas. Uh, that's what I mean.